Hello, faith leaders, and welcome to Break Time. Today's proverb is 19.23. The fear of the Lord leads to life. Then one rest content, untouched by trouble. Would not, wouldn't it be awesome to have a life free of trouble? To have a life that is so content that no matter what comes your way, you are just at peace. And, you know, this, this passage reminds me of David that says, Be still and know that I'm God. Because in the midst of war, in the midst of David being chased, he found a place to go. And it was this place of contentment. But it says the fear of the Lord leads to this place. And it's, it doesn't look, um, you can't find it in a building. You can't find it in a, in, in a house. Sometimes I have my little sacred place. But this place that we find, this contentment of life, is the fear of the Lord. It's an inward dwelling of who God is. And because God is there inside, we have a place that we are totally surrendered to the Lord. And the more that we surrender, the greater that space inside of us grows. That greater that no matter what troubles come our way, that is our safe place. The Lord is our refuge. The Lord is the one that brings contentment. The Lord, but it begins with the fear of the Lord. And a lot of people look at that and think, fear of the Lord, what do you mean by fearing God? I got to be scared of him. That isn't the word scared. That word is the, the word reverence. It's, it's a place where God is who God is. And as a result of who he is, you have submitted your ways to him. He is enough and he is who you are adoring. He is who your center. <laughs> He's all that you need. And sometimes Lord, the Lord has allowed some troubles and, and persecutions to come into our lives. And it, the, it seems that in my life, the more that that's happened, the closer I become to this place of really fearing God, where it's a place of awe, where it's a place where I can settle down and just know that God is there and be still and, and love him above all. I don't love him because of my circum circumstances. I love him in them. I don't love him because things are good. I love him because things are about him, all about him. So rest in him today, in the midst of your chaotic workplace, be in awe.